hello friends i welcome all of you in this video we will talk about a very important topic that is tcp header many interviewers will ask questions to you on on this topic so it's crucial that we discuss about it in the previous video we talked about uh, transport layer wherein our topics were tcp and udp here we are discussing about tcp header next video will have udp header so you learned that when the session layer sends uh, data over to transport layer it adds a header over the data okay it becomes segment so you can say segment is nothing but collection of uh, bytes and we add a tcp header if the application being used is tcp based so we are talking about tcp header here so in the header there will be several fields we'll discuss all of these fields in this video so the first question is what is the size of tcp header the answer is minimum 20 bytes and maximum 60 bytes so the range will be 20 to 60 it means up to 40 bytes optional fields are added minimum 20 optional is 40 and total maximum will be 60 uh, 60 bytes so uh, some basics now the data which we store in our storage that is always represented in byte the data when it is being moved from one place to another using some media that is with the help of isp that is always measured in bits so bits means small b byte mean capital B so the transmission speed will be in bits per second the storage will always be bytes like kilobyte megabyte gigabyte terabyte and transmission speed will be like bits per second kilobits per second megabits per second gigabits per second right so if your file is of uh, six let's say 10 10 megabyte and your speed is 10 megabits per second so that doesn't mean that the file will move in one second it's a wrong assumption it will be like 10 megabyte you convert in bits it will be 80 bits uh, 80 megabits okay so 80 megabits divide by 10 megabits per second it will be 8 seconds so your 10 megabyte file will move in 8 seconds with the speed of 10 mbps so this is how actual speed is calculated people get confused they mix the byte and bits so this this was basic so one byte equal to 8 bits and 1 bit will be 0 or 1 computer understands 0 or 1 we understand English or Hindi whatever language and operating system converts our language to machine language that is binary this is very easy so now let's calculate the size being used by TCP header by looking at the fields first let's uh, see what are the fields there source port destination port sequence number acknowledgement number field header length in bits reserved bits for future use flags a receiving window size checksum of 16 bits urgent data pointer of 16 bits optional fields of 40 bytes and data okay so this one is header and this one is data so tcp header plus data becomes segments so we'll discuss all of these fields so when uh, when you communicate with any application from let's say source to destination i told you that a random source port is allocated and 
for the destination application there will be well known port number let's say 443 on the source port it can be 11293 and destination port number let's say will be 443 or 22 or 25 or 80 right or udp 161 whatever so the destination port will be stored in the binary format in this 16 bit size field in binary okay and the source port which is random will be stored here in 16 bits understood and uh, these two fields are clear now now let's talk about the third field which is sequence number i told you that data is nothing but a collection of bytes there will be lot of bytes so each of these bytes will have a sequence number that is address uh the data will have bytes and bytes will have sequence number and these uh, sequence number will will mean order that is in continuity contiguous right the first address let's say 10005 second one will be 10068910 but the starting address it will be assigned randomly it can be 90002 okay it can be 70006 but after that all of the bytes will have addresses in sequence continuity all right so the sequence number field which is of 32 bit will have the address of the first byte first byte remember this so first byte sequence address in the data field of the uh, segment now what is this acknowledgement number third bit let's say the same data which will have so many bytes this address is stored here right now acknowledgement number will be sent by the receiver that i have received your segment but what does it contain it contains a value which will have the address of the last byte in the data field of this segment plus 1 okay if your sequence number of this was the address 10005 and it's this one was 10009 and plus 1 it will be 10010 this one will be stored here in binary format because the field is really big 32 bits this is uh, what i wanted to tell you one thing more uh, i told you the range of this ports it was from 1 till 65535 but did you ever wonder how did this value come see the source port and destination port fields are of 16 bits so if you write all of these bits like 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 right the address of the first bit is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 right so let's say all the fields are one this can be the maximum value now you convert that into uh, decimal how you will do uh, it will be like 1 into 2 raised to power 0 plus this 1 into 2 raised to power 1 plus 1 into 2 raised to power 2 plus 1 into 2 uh, raised to power 3 right so this is you do it will be like this one 1 into 2 raised to power 15 so if you add up all the values the value which will come out to be 65 535 this is how the value is actually derived understood all basics so uh, this thing you understood first address of the byte in a data field this one is last address of the byte in the same data field plus 1 last plus 1 right so now let's talk about these fields header length it is in 4 bits 
it basically talks about the real uh, value of the tcp header if your value of tcp header that is uh, the size of the tcp header is 20 bytes so what value will be here so the formula is whatever the size of your tcp header is simply divide it by 4 answer will be 5 and write 5 in this uh, 4 field uh, header length which will be like 0101 4 bits right this is how to uh, how to fill this or how the data is there so if you are using 60 byte uh, header then simply divide 60 byte by 4 answer will be 15 and how will you write 15 in 4 bits it will be 1111 so if your tcp header is uh, maximum possible value 60 bytes in size this one will have 1111 this is the way to uh, fill this and these six these six bits are of future use ignore now let's talk about this flags urgent acknowledgement psh means push rsa reset sync finish right so urg means urgent if there is urgent need of any data to be sent then this flag will be set to one so in that case this urgent data field pointer value which is of 16 bits will come into picture so this will have the address of the last byte of the urgent data which has to be sent before any other data or segment okay so this is uh, it what it is so segment you can say collection of uh, bytes so let's say this is the urgent segment the last byte address will be stored here urgent right this is the urgent then there is acknowledgement field ack acknowledgement so this one will be set to one when anybody receives the acknowledgement like sender has sent data to uh, receiver receiver sends acknowledgement it will have the field value set as one because this is meant for acknowledgement psh means push so whosoever needs data it will set the field as one that is you push data now send data this is the information the, whenever the flag is active it will have the value as one okay rst reset reset rst so for whatever reason any party wants to reset the connection can do so by setting this value to one for whatever reason the isp issue or application hung whatever reason this will have the value to one set right sin s y n sin means sync sender sends sync message i told you so whenever sync message go, goes field will be set to one and then is fin finish i am done with uh, data transfer so whosoever doesn't want to establish or keep the connection established can finish by making the flag bit as one this is finish and receiving window size of 16 bits so it is basically uh, this value will be filled by the receiver specifying capacity of handling the data like this is my limit is it will mention so window size this is part of the tcp windowing right so it will make sure that no excessive traffic is sent checksum value of 16 bits uh, it is for error detection so whenever uh, data is prepared one value is assigned to it checksum value and when it is received at the receiver end the value is matched if there is manipulation or any breakage in the data the value will change so if the value is changed then there will be resending of the data that is what this checksum field is very important 16 bits field urgent data pointer i told you this one will be having the value when this urg flag is set 
and this optional field of 40 bytes there are many um, optional fields can be used if i discuss then it becomes super lengthy topic and you will simply digress don't go so deep that you cannot come back right ccn is a huge thing data field the actual collection of data is right so this thing i discussed with you tcp header 22 uh, 60 bytes right so just uh, i hope that it's been informative to you thank you so much for your time have a nice day